Hi everyone. Welcome back. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about how often I smoke a pipe. <clears throat> it goes a little bit hand in hand with a video that I've been thinking about making, going back and forth, if I should make it or not. That will probably be named Pipe Smoking and Your Health or something like that. The reason I'm not really sure if I should make it is because it's such a touchy subject. But I cannot talk about how, how often I smoke a pipe without, without crossing into that subject. So here's my thought on this. I've mentioned before that as a young teenager back in the 90s in the early 2000s that goes for me even though tobacco as a whole was already starting to fade rapidly Everyone still smoked cigarettes back then. At least that was my experience growing up. Cigarettes was everywhere. We could buy them. Young people were smoking when we went to parties and everything. It was just, it was just there. So when I was 12, 13, people in my school just started smoking cigarettes it was a way to be together and doing something that you wasn't supposed to do there as, as kids are doing they're testing their boundaries and there's nothing wrong with that only issue is that a lot of these young people they could start on cigarettes and cannot get rid of them even if they want to. So we all started smoking cigarettes. And I was brought up not to smoke. None of my close relatives were smoking. And I knew it was wrong and it was unhealthy and all this. But I was just drawn so much to it and you want to fit in and it just felt amazing to be smoking. So we did it even though my parents were so much against it. So much against it that I think it was even more motivating for me to do it. You have this rebel in you when you were young. At least I did. Anyway, 10 years went by and I became a young grown up and realized that I actually didn't want to live my whole life as a smoker. Also, I could already feel that my health was actually suffering from smoking like 10 cigarettes a day. <clears throat> my doctor found out that my blood pressure was actually elevated with only 22, I guess. I was a little overweight back then also, but very strange. I was often sick and had a cold and was coughing. And Anyways, the short story is that I realized that I didn't want to keep smoking, so I quit. And time has also evolved during these 10 years, so it wasn't really that in to be smoking anymore. I was lucky that I just could stop. Some of the, the guys or the people that I knew, they were really hung on it. Couldn't really kick the monkey off their back. I had really no issues. The only Thing that was hard was uh, the habit of smoking. I don't think that was I was really hooked on nicotine at all. So from I was in the early 20s until my early 30s I didn't touch any tobacco and I was living a fairly healthy life. Doing a lot of sports, was much into what I was eating and lived an active lifestyle. And health was important to me, that is the point that I want to make. 
And if health is important to you, you are not ever thinking about smoking. I've mentioned this before, but this strange thing happened where I had a point in my life where I was very stressed. And pipe smoking just came up in my head. And to make a long story short, I realized that health is not only what you put into your mouth. Health is a very, very big subject. And there goes a lot of things into how healthy you are and how long you live and such. So I started pipe smoking and I had this mind fuck in my head because I was so the conclusion about tobacco in my head was that you should never smoke but then all of a sudden I could feel that smoking a pipe was something that was very good for me when you talk about my mental health my mental being this pipe is a, is doing something good for me and then it goes back to having balance in your life because there's no arguing that, that this is not a physical healthy thing and I think a lot of pipe smokers are fooling themselves saying that oh it's not unhealthy to smoke a pipe yes it is the definition for me unhealthy is something that is causing harm to your body that is what we call unhealthy but my view of this is that anything in excess is unhealthy even if you eat 20 oranges a day that will be unhealthy for you because then you will eat too much sugar or whatever everything in moderation is the conclusion it is how I would like to live my life also because I had some moments, periods in my life about having some habits about what I ate and food and choices and such. Sometimes I was looking for the magic pill. If I just eat like this, then I'm going to be healthy. But then I was demonizing some other types of food. And that is just not a healthy way to live to say that whatever carbs is uh, unhealthy and you're demonizing carbs or demonizing sugar, demonizing fat, whatever. You should be able to live your life in balance and eat and just be a normal healthy person, not overthinking stuff. So you should be able to eat sugar, just not too much. You can eat fat, just not too much. So I think I have a much more healthy way of eating also because I just try to eat balanced and not overcomplicate things. Back to the pipe. Even though smoking tobacco is not a healthy thing, if you smoke a few times a week, somewhere there will be a limit. That line you have to define for yourself. But I just know that when I start smoking a pipe every day, that's where I start to think, okay, don't overdo it. Because that may or may not, but that may decrease some kind of physical health. That's just my way of logic. So how, how often do I smoke a pipe and why do I even talk about it? It's because, to be honest, it's something that I think about. And I think it's something that in this pipe community, people... close their eyes a little bit and that's fine if they are happy doing it all the power to you but don't say it's not unhealthy if you have this hanging in your mouth all day long so if you think about it like this you like this and this brings you joy happiness and this just increases your quality of life do it but if you're gonna do it, it doesn't mean that you're gonna get 200% enjoyment if you do it all the time. Maybe you can have this enjoyment in your life without any issue if you don't overdo it. That's my way of thinking.
So I have had some periods in my life where I said, okay, I smoke a pipe in the weekend. That way, it, I will not overdo it. But that also annoyed me because then I have rules when I can smoke a pipe. It didn't work for me. So actually I found a limit that I don't even have to think about because if I smoke one bowl a day, that is actually on the limit where I start not enjoying every puff. Because I can fill this pipe and smoke like three times during a day. Because one bowlful, I will not be enjoying in one sitting. If I smoke this bowlful in one sitting, I'll be sitting here for over an hour. And at some point doing that, I will stop enjoying it. So I'll put it down. Then I can pick it up later. So two to three times it will take me to smoke this bowl through. And when I pick up a pipe two to three times a day, it's also more than I need. So if I'm smoking a lot, for me, a lot. I'll be picking this pipe up once a day, not even smoking a full bowl. On average, I probably smoke three bowls a week, four bowls a week. So I have some days off. That way I actually smoke what I like to smoke, how much I like. And I think it's a balanced way, so I don't think I'm taking too much of a risk. And then you might be seeing it differently from your point of view in your perspective. And that's all fine. So I'm really, guys, not here to judge anyone. If you're smoking every day, all day, and you have peace of mind, all the power to you. Really, I don't judge. The guys that smoke uh, one bowl a week, hmm. I say that's good. So I'm trying to enjoy it without overcomplicating, without overthinking it, but I'm conscious about it. So, let me light this pipe up. smoke it with a clean consciousness. Whatever you do in life, in life, sorry, enjoy it. So do what you enjoy and enjoy what you do. That's my two cents. Enjoy your pipe smoking, guys. Enjoy your life. See you in the next video. Bye.